What's up everyone, Supreme Decisions here, and today I actually want to talk to you about one of the most fundamental rights that we have as human beings here in America. And that's the right to be innocent. The right to be innocent until you are proven guilty beyond all reasonable doubt. Now, somewhere along the line in my blah, blah, blah years, that has actually become an anomaly. Because innocence is not even something that's a selection. Most people are programmed to believe that just because you are arrested, that you did something. I speak about how over Two out of every three times, so more than two out of every three times that a police officer makes a decision, it's wrong. I speak about how prosecutors go for deals and plea bargains versus going to trial where they actually have to prove someone's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt because of this thing called intent. I also speak about the one thing that must be with every form of evidence. Evidence has to be supported with probable cause. Now, one of the things that I found interesting was I wrote one of my motions umpteen years ago. And it was a motion that I actually stood by and I actually enjoyed it because I filed it with damn near every criminal case that I helped with or was involved in. And it's called a motion to revoke all presumptions. Now, the thing that actually surprised me was generally I go through the organic code of every state prior to submitting a motion. Because not only do I understand that in order for a state law to have any effect, it must agree with a federal law or statute because of the Selective Incorporation Doctrine and the Supremacy Clause in the United States Constitution. Well, to my surprise, a motion to revoke all presumption was codified in a couple of the cases that I used and I thought it was profound. Today, I'm actually gonna put up Louisiana's. Yes, Louisiana has it codified that you have to revoke all presumptions because the presumption has to be supported in your evidence with probable cause. And we often talk about arrests being made without probable cause. And lately I've been talking about suing a police officer for illegal arrest. Now, one of the things I'm going to give you is a couple of cases. And you know, I've been reading lately. So these are things that I've already jotted down and I'm going to give to you. The first one is Estelle V. Williams, 425 U.S. 501. And that's a 1976 case. 76. That's 40 plus years ago. The presumption of innocence plays a unique role in criminal proceedings. Good conversational piece because presumptions are unlawful and prejudicially turn belief into evidence. Remember that when I spoke about feelings do not determine law? So one of the things I learned as a salesperson is to take certain things out of my vocabulary, things that couldn't be part of my vernacular whenever I'm talking about definitives. I can't think, I can't feel, and I can't believe. Why? Because those things are not tangible. Those are not facts. When I talk about probable cause, it has to be something that's tangible. It can't be a belief because a belief is not tangible and it leads to unlawful action. And when we talk about presumute pro justia sinister, yeah, I can't 
pronounced. I can't speak Latin, but I can read it. I can actually just write it out here. The presumption should be in favor of justice of a sentence. So even when we're proven guilty, any presumptions that are done on that, because generally we don't have someone that is actually there that can account for it, unless we have video, then, you know, it is what it is. But it's to be favored for the person, the human being that's being sentenced for the alleged allegation. Presumute pro legitimatio. Yes, all of this, I, I got to put that up because I can't, you know, I'm country as hell. So anyway, the presumption is in favor of legitimacy. So even to have this thing play out, it has to be based on something that is actually legitimate. And these are actually from a Black's Laws Dictionary, a second edition from 1933, because these are where you get the most clean legal definitions from because you even have a Ballantine. you want to get close to the first edition as possible even a believable again I'm putting this stuff up because you want to get as close to the original context of the original written law as possible but they are also supported you know the tangibility is supported whenever I give you current Supreme Court cases when I give you cases that set precedent, the ones that set up the steers doctrine, the ones that must be followed. Those are the things that I'm giving you when I'm going through this. Because New York Times v. Sullivan, 1964, the power to create a presumption is not a means to escape from constitutional restrictions. We're using a presumption as a weapon versus actually making someone do the job that they swore that they would do in favor of the citizen they swore to protect and uphold. <sighs> D'Lo v. Leslie. It's a 1993 case. In the field of criminal law, the accused must be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. That's literally what I said earlier, right? That's also what I spoke about when you have a police officer just showing up and he said, she said. You can't just subject someone to felonious conditions prior to talking to anyone and making a decision through the totality of circumstances. Because even when you have Worldwide Volkswagen versus Woodson. It's a 1998 case, uh, 1980 case, excuse me. A judgment rendered in violation of due process is void in the rendering state and is not entitled to full faith and credit elsewhere. Why? Because you're operating without good faith and without clean hands. And what nullifies it or voids it is when you're offering a presumption, that means the evidence is not supported by probable cause. These are the things when I spoke about legal error for your appeals. It's not supported by probable cause. There is no evidence that could support a guilty verdict. These are the things that I try to give you. And I give it to you in the context where I hope it's easily understood. Gladys B. Klein, 1973 case. Presumptions have been held to violate a party's due process and equal protection rights. Presumptions which prejudice constitutionally granted guaranteed rights are unconstitutional and may not be employed. So when you're offering up the motion to revoke all presumptions, it's offering them an opportunity to follow the Constitution offering them an opportunity to follow their organic code. Just like whenever I spoke about the young man down in Florida who chose, I did a live show on that one, who chose not to vigorously defend his client by saying, oh, you can't ask for that. That is sovereign citizen stuff. And I literally read not only what was on the motion, I read what was required by federal law 
and I read the organic code of Florida and they all said the same exact thing. When you're looking at this, the I spoke about the most contentious thing that is not done is providing a vigorous defense. No one loves you like you love you. No one cares about you like you care about you because this system is designed not for encouragement, but for discouragement, for fear and revenue. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I give you this because I want you to understand. <laughs> The Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees all men the right to due process of law. If you are allowing presumptions to be put into a case, your rights for due process have been violated. These are the things that open the gates because there is a procedure for everything that is done and everything that a police officer is doing. I want you to keep that in mind. Because as we go along, I'm going to get a little deeper. I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm going to offer you a peek deeper into the rabbit hole. So I love you guys. Continue to support the channel. Pick a tier. One of them fits you. Support the podcast. 99 cents. four ninety nine, nine ninety nine a month. Or you can shoot your boy a Apple Pay message and put in a donation as well as grabbing your t-shirts and yes more merchandise is coming love you guys let's keep going let's keep growing and you know it supreme out Loser.